Hello there, Style Wardians. Welcome back to the Style Ward. It is San here. And welcome if you are new and it's your first time here with me. I'm so glad to have you all. I appreciate everyone here. So today's video is going to be a fun one. So I'm trying out a little something different. It's actually something that I've been doing for quite some time now. Um, and I kind of took a break from it. But I thought I'd get back to it um, this year, given that um, next week is when everyone dress up in costumes um, to celebrate the ween. But um, I used to do that when I was in high school <laughs> um, because my friends asked me to join them and we go trick or treating and stuff like that and to parties. But today I'm doing this more like realistic abstract version of my favorite character. So I'm doing a look for what I call harvest. So if you're going to a harvest harvest party or harvest fair or some sort of harvest event where you can dress up as your favorite character, I'm just going to give you a bit of an inspiration of what I would do. Whereas it's not so costumey, but it's more real life more abstract um, depiction of your favorite character. So my favorite character is a Catwoman and over the years I've done, I've gone from the original Catwoman look to a steampunk Catwoman look to a Western Catwoman look. Um, so this year I thought I'll do a Victorian Catwoman look. So I hope this serves as some sort of inspiration for whatever it is, um, whatever character you uh, role that you want to put on and dress up as for um, harvest or for wean if that's what you celebrate. So here goes. Um, so I'm going to do um, some makeup today. I'm going to put on my foundation again. Um, this is clean foundation. <clears throat> it is 100% vegan and cruelty free. And it says oil free anti shine plus satin finish and I and I tested this out in this tested this out in the store I bought it from Target um, a while now at least two months ago <clears throat> and I've not worn it <clears throat> yet excuse me so anyway let's get into it so and then at the end of the video I will sh once I do the makeup look then I will at the end show you the outfit so. Let's go. Okay, so I'm just gonna use my, what do they call this? <laughs> the blotting sponge, I think. I don't know what it's called, guys. This is also a non-toxic one. So, just putting three little dots on here. I obviously don't know what I'm doing, so bear with me. If I make a mistake, don't scream at me, please. Through the screen. <laughs> so again, this is if you want a flawless finish, if you're going somewhere. Well, for me, that's the only time I will put on a, an extra skin of makeup on my face. <laughs> Whereas, but it has to look like I'm not wearing anything. So, and with this, a little goes a long way. So that's why I only use three, <clears throat> three drops because that's all it really takes for me to get coverage. And whereas it doesn't look so, um, <clears throat> where it doesn't look like too much, you know? And I don't know if this such is such a true match to my skin tone because it's looking a little, <clears throat> a little unlike my skin tone, honestly. Maybe I put too much on. It's making me look a little olivey. And I'm more golden than olive. So I think I was trying to find the golden tone and wind up picking up the olive it seemed. Yeah. So this is not much of a true match. 
but we're gonna do the best we can guys <laughs> with what we have here so just gonna give myself that more flawless finish to the best of my ability it looks pretty natural in person but on screen for some reason it's looking a little different okay gotta get a little bit more for the neck area Got a few blemishes there. And I guess you, you're you supposed to apply a powder <clears throat> on top of this, but I don't have any. <laughs> um, do I? No. And if I do use a powder, I use a bronzer, so. Because again, I'm just not much of a makeup person. <clears throat> Yeah, this makes me look olive, and I'm more of a golden tone than an olive undertone. <laughs> okay, so... It's weird how these things show up differently on camera, but in person it looks like a true match. Hmm. Let's try the light. Maybe that that will help. <clears throat> okay, yeah, maybe it was the light. All right, so now that we've done that, we're going to move into doing the eyebrows now. <clears throat> <coughs> Excuse me. And again, I just used a feather out technique um, to get my eyebrows to look a bit beefier. Okay, so <clears throat> that feels good. <clears throat> now let's go on to using um, eyeshadows. Yeah, that light is 
too yellow. There we go. That's better. <laughs> Excuse me. Pardon moi. take this dark chocolatey brown right here at the bottom put on the bottom lid <coughs> anything wrong with having fun um, dressing up as a favorite character um, to to be um, celebratory of that um, and yeah I think it's a fun thing to do um, in that light It's a matter of having fun in life you know you got to create your own fun um, if you don't like a tr something that's traditional like ween then you can create a spin off of it where it is where you can move from the dark to the light of that so. and then I'm going to take the so, <clears throat> Victorian era is more about those dark hues, okay? So, I'm creating that very dark but sultry and sensual hue on my face. So, I'm doing the brown, dark brown at the bottom, and now I'm going to do a burgundy um, in the middle. So, I'm going to take... <coughs> Excuse me, guys. Um... Hmm, I don't want to go too red though. May go with. I'm trying to decide between uh, this, 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 or this. <laughs> so those those four reddish colors. So this is the more deeper red right here. Let's go for it. Let's see. Ooh, that's very pigmented. to warm it up a bit <clears throat> like like cool it down a bit I should say um, with a lighter red um, right here in the corners
Yeah. And now we're going to do the eyes, the eyelashes, and doing the using the um, <clears throat> mascara and the eyeliner. So. Hold on. <clears throat> okay, so <laughs> I cannot find my sharpener. Anyway, so I'm going to use this one. This one is. Need to fix my eyebrow on this side. <laughs> I just saw that. It's a bit sparse at the end there. Okay, so it's looking good so far. <clears throat> so far, so good. <laughs> All right, so now we're going to um, apply the mascara to give my eyelashes some definition. Definition. And some visibility. <laughs>
So, <clears throat> so you can see the eyes are done. Now the last thing um, is to do the lips. So again, this is an abstract um, Catwoman look. So, all right, I'm going to go with a deep um, red hue. I want it to be matte, so I'm going to blot my lips from the lip balm that I'm wearing. is shamefully all, all done <laughs> so I'm going to use a q-tip to extract um, oh it's the wrong one hold on And this is great for cleaning up around your lips, the Q-tip. Just another beauty application tip. <clears throat> Let's clean up the Cupid's bow area. So you just want to follow the shape of your lip um, to truly um, get a get a, a true outline. So there. Makeup is all done. So let's add the finishing touches for this very Victorian-ish Catwoman <clears throat> Victorian. So now I'm going to put on choker made out of netted material no, still not walking I'm missing the holes and <laughs> just complicated than I like it. <laughs> right. Here we go. Now, I made my own cat ears. Sadly, this is not black, but hey. Victorian era is not just about the dark hues. They also have very light hues. So, um, yeah, I'm going to add this cat ears that I made. So these are the bunny ears um, headbands that I showed you guys in one of my <clears throat> new in try on haul. So I just wrapped the, of course the bunny ears is much taller, so I just wrapped it around because it has these um, very adjustable foldable wire 
um, frames inside the ears and it's made out of lace so it's a perfect Victorian look in the Victorian era they wear a lot of lace um, as well so we're going to add the ears so just to make a true you know just abstract but you can you can see the direction that you are going in where someone with what is she is she a, is she a cat or is she just some dark sultress or <laughs> you know um so i'm clearly indicating that i'm a cat with the um <clears throat> the cat ears headband so and now i'm gonna take you and let you see my full outfit let's go so come with So the finishing touch. So I have on this very Victorian blouse, Victorian like um, leggings. It has uh, lace details here. You can barely see it because the lighting is so dim today. Uh, the sun is barely out, but we're gonna do the best we can. <laughs> um, yeah, so let's get the boots on. So these are some knee-high boots, perhaps you can't see because it's so dark in here today. The lighting is just very gloomy outside today. look so first and foremost here is the shirt it has a billowy Victorian-esque um, sleeves the pants is laced up like a corset like um, legging type of pant so even if you don't have a leotard you can just get separates like leggings a top to create your catwoman look um, and you are good to go so let's give you a nice spin and and yeah, let's wrap this up.
All right, guys, that is a wrap. <laughs> I hope you've enjoyed the very Victorian-esque, um, Victorian Catwoman look for harvest parties, harvest events, harvest fairs. Um, or if you are in celebration of the ween, you can, you know, be inspired by this look as well. But it is just a, an abstract version, a uh, more realistic version of a cat, Catwoman look versus the, the more costumey. So I hope you've enjoyed it. Um, if you do, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, hit the notification bell so that you can be notified whenever I post a new video. And don't forget to share and comment, and I will catch you in the next one, guys. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you for watching. I appreciate you, and I'll see you next time. Bye now. Enjoy this beautiful day. Au revoir.